Hello everyone. This is me leaving home. It's um, five o'clock Tuesday. This is my house. And I'm leaving the kids and Matthew. This is the hardest part. All right, so tonight I'm gonna drive I'm planning to drive seven hours um, because I have to make it to Pennsylvania to do a living room concert there tomorrow and then off on to Long Island. So I've been driving now for an hour and a half. I'm about 100 miles west of Knoxville and it's just so pretty. Uh, this is the golden hour. And I um, wanted to show you what I pack with me. So I have this little pouch, this little lavender pouch. It's from Croatia. And all I do is I just squeeze it. And when I squeeze it, it just releases the scent. And it's so, so awesome. It's very relaxing. And I don't use any other air freshener, that's the best. And then I also, um, I like to pack my green tea and I put it in these, I, I brew it at home because I don't like to buy all the stuff um, that has sugar in it. And I, know, I know what's in here. So I pack it in like these um, um, glass bottles. And this is Tahibo tea actually that my sister sent me from Los Angeles. It's very, very good for your immunity. So, and then I, I have a whole bunch of snacks. Yes. I make popcorn at home, so it's just very healthy. So this is my back of my car, and it's packed with my equipment. I got my keyboard, I got my Bose sound system, I got my um, merchandise, CDs, and even uh, a cart to help me unload and load clothes. It's very tight in here, but hey, it's perfect. When I drive, I like to listen to music. I like to listen classical mostly. I like to listen to NPR. I have XM radio for now for this trip, so I can listen to NPR everywhere I go. I also like to listen to books on tape. But mostly, I like to I like silence, and I like to use this time to think, to create, to contemplate. And I was just thinking how how wonderful it is to have family and friends that support, so that I can leave. My mom is home with Matthew this week. Um, other weeks we had Matthew's family there and Matthew's sister. Just to know that I can rely on friends to take care of my kids and Matthew while I'm away is huge. So, yeah, I'm just, just feeling really grateful for that. Uh, made my first stop um, drove 326 miles I'm somewhere in Virginia and um, got gas stretched my legs a little bit put my glasses on as I can't drive with my contact in and I'm gonna put my lavender pouch away because now is not the time to <laughs> keep me um, calm and I have my cheer oil which I'm gonna just put a little bit on in the you know just to smell it like this and maybe even here and it has citrus um, to keep me up and cheer me up um, I think I'm gonna drive for another two hours and then I'm gonna retire for the night so it's been a really nice calm enjoyable ride so 
Those walls, these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near between the woods and frozen lake the darkness evening of the year he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake the only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake the woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. So it's seven and a half hours later since I left home and it's late. It's about 1.30 in the morning, Eastern time. I changed zones and I'm ready for bed. I got my peace oil to, uh, not that I need any help sleeping, but uh, yeah, that's what I do. I'm just gonna sleep.